we've been on the, the short end of the stick when it comes to the NCAA. But one thing I want to ask is you mentioned, okay, we're having a, an, a lot of players, right, come for the Under Armour. Um, so, the well, All-American. So how much money is Under Armour spending on, on this whole event, like, to go run it? And, like, because – Obviously, when it comes to girls and guys, the girls are gonna get more money because they make more money. Understandable. So I'm just curious, like, okay, you said football and basketball get all this money dumped into them. So is volleyball or women's volleyball becoming one of those sports where, if not already, is where it's okay, we're gonna dump a, a certain amount of money into it. I'm just curious, like, how much money or uh, around how much they're spending on this this whole event. It's a seven-figure investment when you take into consideration like the threads, the gear, the travel expenses the the space the insurance the coaches all that stuff so i think like with a year like covid i um i i feel so i feel so blessed and just so incredibly grateful that there is a big sponsor that wants to invest in our sport and just yeah. You know, there's been so many club owners and club coaches and, you know, you guys are aware in the club world, just, you know, this COVID has really just kind of screwed up a lot of things for a lot of people. And so mm -hmm. I just feel really, really grateful that, that a big sponsor is wanting to get involved in this space and, you know, they're sponsoring Jordan Thompson, uh, who just wrapped up her career at Cincinnati and um, is, is a professional player as well. And so... I'm excited. They're going to do, um, she's actually going to uh, join us, I think, in Orlando for the All-American Games and, you know, work with the players and do a camp and all kinds of stuff. So I'm so excited about that, too, um, just for having that opportunity. I know that the, and, oh, sorry, Jerry, you want me? No, 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 you go, take it, take it, take it. So I did play football in high school. And a few of my friends have gone to like these camps and a bunch of this stuff. And it's such a big deal. And I think it's like it changes the whole dynamic of, of football recruiting because it's way less about like high school. Like people aren't coming to your high school games as much. They can go to the combines. They can go to these like all American games. Um, I know Nike has one in Oregon. I know um, I think the army, there's like some army bowl that, uh, a teammate of mine's went to DeForest Buckner, actually, who used to play for the Niners. Um, I think he went to that. There's so many of these different showcases and like top 50 or like Under Armour All American kind of games. Um, do you think Under Armour is going to be able to hold on to that? Or do you think that this is going to start becoming a thing where it's like there's a Nike camp and then there's a Adidas camp where like Adidas has one in, in Texas and they have a showcase or like. Do you, or do you think Under Armour is going to have a pretty good hold on that? You know, I think that it, it, it'll be interesting. I think if everything is executed really well and it does really well, you know, um, between I have about a million followers across all my social media platforms. And that's that's a probably a pretty significant reason why I'm involved as well in terms of just having a presence. I think as um, if we execute it well and it goes really well, I think that. I think that this could go in a lot of different ways. I think that Under Armour is making a good choice in terms of, you know, investing and 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 even like with Jordan Thompson in terms of getting her. Um, I, I'm just I'm incredibly excited. I Nike does some. I think they do some volleyball camps, but I don't think they've they've done anything quite like this where it's been. Um, you know, a whole grassroots program. And that's that's the direction that we're going. We're going to get the youth involved and do like a middle school program. And then there's, you know, a high school element to it. So uh, I'm just, I'm super pumped. I, I hope that, um, I hope that more follow because that, I mean, yeah. that's just so much better for our sport. But right. for Armour, I, I'm pretty stoked to be involved with them. Hey guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this clip of If You Can't Handle the Heat. I'm here to inform you guys that we have plenty more juicy information and storytelling on the full episode. Make sure you click the link below. We're both on Apple Music and Spotify. Easy, click the link below. Bam, a lot more information coming your way. Now, let's get back to the magic.